Hello, and welcome to This Month in GKE, your monthly update on what's new in Google Kubernetes Engine. It's an exciting month, and we've got a lot of features to talk about. Kicking things off, we have introduced the Autopilot Compute class. It brings the benefit of GK Autopilot mode into standard clusters. This means you get faster pod scheduling and more efficient resource management without the need to migrate to a new cluster. The goal is for your workload to provision faster with minimal latency and maximum performance. In order to simplify things, many of the features that were previously part of GKE Enterprise are now available in GKE Standard. This was effective early in September. This includes tools like the Fleet Dashboard, Config Sync, for GitOps-based configuration management, OPA-based policy controller to enforce policies within your cluster, and the great multi-team management capabilities. With this consolidation, all of these powerful capabilities are now more accessible to all of our users. Next up, we have some great networking enhancements. First is the preview for Zonal Affinity for L4 ILB services. This feature prioritizes routing traffic to the same zone as the request's origin. If no healthy backend is available, the request automatically fails over to other regions to ensure high availability. Also, a feature we previously talked about, multi-subnet clusters, is now generally available. You can now add subnets in the cluster that is already running to allow for it to grow for more pods and nodes without having the need to over-provision IPs. Now let's talk about one of my favorite areas, auto-scaling. A new preview feature that just came out is the vertical pod auto-scaler with in-place pod resize. You may remember we talked about the ability to resize pods in place. This now allows the VPA to adjust these resources of your workloads without disrupting pods. This is fantastic for both stateless and stateful workloads and something that makes the vertical pod auto scaler viable for everyone. We have also made some improvements for compute classes. You can now enable node auto provisioning, NAP for short, on per class basis, giving you more control over how GK provisions your nodes. Additionally, now compute class allow you to define and apply system level configuration and tuning across all your nodes in a consistent and maintainable way. This is a huge improvement over having to manage custom scripts or daemon sets. Just two weeks after the OSS release, Kubernetes 134 is now available on GKE, bringing the latest features and improvements from the great Kubernetes community. On the GKE side, we also increased the node drain timeout to one hour for the GKE cluster auto scaler. It was previously 10 minutes, but this now gives more time for graceful shutdowns, especially for complex workloads such as AI and batch processing. On the hardware front, the A4X VM, which features the NVIDIA GB200, is now available in GKE. A4X provides a massive boost for AI and HPC workloads. For our users using Autopilot with GPU, fast starting nodes for NVIDIA L4 GPUs significantly reduces startup time. On the security front, a dedicated service agent for logging and monitoring of GKE nodes is now available on version 133 and later. And finally, the file store regional tier is now supported by the GKE CSI driver, offering yet another storage option for your stateful applications. That's all the updates we have for this month. If you're watching this video before November 2025 and will be going to KubeCon North America, come say hello to us at our Google booth. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of This Month in GKE. We'll be back next month with all the latest updates.